Hello guys, welcome to uh, Christ in Song or uh, SDA Hymns, wherever you may be watching this from. I just want to introduce, reintroduce rather, Hymn of the Week, where we, you know, just go through a hymn, sing a hymn, share a hymn, recite a hymn, and just share the gospel that way or inspire others that way. Uh, of course, we're using Christ in Song and also SDA uh, hymnal and these two hymnals have been really uh, influential in my life or should I say instrumental in my life and that's why I'm sharing this uh, as an opportunity for others to join and you know just share the song and this week's song is Anywhere with Jesus and Anywhere with Jesus is an interesting hymn and, and before I even go there there's something about hymns that's just so so amazing something so cool about hymns is that they just connect you to God in a deeper way and in a very unique way. But anyways, that's that's just me uh, me commenting on hymns. But um, this week's hymn is very, very interesting as well because it has different authors. Well, not different as if it's many, many, but it's just like two different authors. It was uh, composed by Jesse Browner Pounds, who lived from 1861 to 1921, and Helen G. Alexander. And I'll, I'll get to the story in a moment. It's very fascinating. But as a poet, one thing that I appreciate about these hymns is most of them were originally poems that people wrote and they put tunes to them. And so I was thinking of something we could do as well called If Hymns Were Poems, you know, just putting together uh, po uh, hymns but recorded or recited not necessarily sung because I find that when you when you recite it or when you say it when you pause and read the words of the hymn it has a deeper impact than just reading sometimes without even understanding so there's power when we meditate on these hymns and it's so transformative it's really awesome I've tried it you should try it but the story behind the hymnal, let's, let's, let's get into the story behind the hymnal because the story behind the hymnal is worth telling. So in the late 1860s, and I'm reading from Christian Counseling and Education Services, their website, they kind of went through the story in it like a summary. I don't want to keep you long. In the late 1860s, Jesse Browner, a gifted poet, Living in Cleveland, Ohio, received a letter in the mail from D.B. Towner. Dr. Towner was an associate of the famous evangelist D.L. Moody. Now, enclosed in that letter was the music to a song and a request for Miss Browner to write the words with a theme, Anywhere with Jesus. So, uh, Mrs., 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 Miss Browner just gets this music and they ask her to put some words to it. The theme is Anywhere with Jesus. The inspiration for the music had come while Dr. Towner was listening to one of Moody's powerful messages proclaiming that the Christian could go anywhere without fear for Christ was ever by his side. And we are told that it didn't take long for Miss Browner to put the words together. And we, we also told that verse 3 now was added later by Ellen G. Alexander. So it's, it's such a fascinating story of, of how you see people coming together and writing the song, but also of the inspiration behind it. It always comes from scripture. And I think this was based in Isaiah 41, which says, uh, Don't be afraid, I will be with you. But also the same uh, voice, the same message is also clearly set forth in Isaiah 43, 1 to 3, which says, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, do not be afraid. And he says, I've called you by name, you are mine. Wherever you pass through water, fire, I will be with you. I will redeem you. Such a powerful promise of God's presence. So here's what I'm going to do. I, I, won't sing, <laughs> I won't sing the hymnal. I will just recite the hymnal so you feel the impact that it has. It says, anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere he leads me in this world below. Anywhere without him, dearest joys would fade. Anywhere with Jesus I am not afraid. Anywhere, 
anywhere, fear I cannot know, anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus I am not alone. Other friends may fail me, he is still my own. Though his hand may lead me over dreary ways, anywhere with Jesus is a house of praise. Anywhere with Jesus I can go to sleep, when the gloomy shadows round about me creep, knowing I shall wake and never more to roam, anywhere with Jesus will be home, sweet home. You know, it's such a fascinating uh, uh, hymn. You can you can recite it, you can sing it, whatever you want to do with it, but just share the message because it's so powerful. And in light of of, of today, what's going on uh, in relation to that hymn, though, see that there's so many natural disasters happening like jesus predicted that before he returns natural disasters will intensify in 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 intensity and also in in frequency we see hurricanes but even worse besides the volcanoes hurricanes earthquakes we also see what i would like to call human and natural disasters (laughs) the wars and the violence and the crime it's all increasing but based on the promise that God gives us, we can be encouraged that God is with us everywhere we go. God will be with us. And we just have to keep that promise. So if you believe in this promise that God is with you, no matter where you are, everywhere. I love when it says, anywhere with Jesus, I can go to sleep. That could also mean the sleep of death because it doesn't mean that we are exempt from from trouble and tribulation in this world, but God promises promises us that we can have his peace and his rest. So if you believe this, join the momentum and share this hope using the hashtag ChristInSong184 or hashtag SDAHymno508. Thank you so much. God bless you. And Uh, uh, keep sharing the hymnal, share the message. May God's presence continue to be with you wherever you go. Bye for now.